Hey, what's up, guys? All right, this video is going to be called uh, Bell Siphon Explained. I had a couple questions about um, just in general how the how the cycles work and, and the bell siphon, and so I thought I'd just do a video of how how mine works. Um, I'll show you the pumps first. <clears throat> Two 396 gallon per hour Detail Plus pumps, submersible pumps. They pump the water up into the settling chamber. Then once it goes, once it overflows, the standpipe goes into both beds. Uh, both sides have a ball valve to adjust the flow. And then I've got every 12 inches, there's a hole, um, a small hole, and the water just comes into the bed evenly. And then once it fills up, it reaches a certain level here. This is the <clears throat> this is the standpipe inside here, and it's one inch. All the inflow is is half inch. This pipe is is one inch going out. So uh, that just the general rule of thumb: you want to have a greater diameter pipe for the return as you do uh, for the water coming in. This this is just the gravel guard. Um, it keeps the gravel out of the bell siphon because if, if the gravel gets in there, you'll never be able to do maintenance and it'll clog the system and that is very, very bad. If this was ever be pulled out, if I ever yanked it out, <clears throat> I would have to do <laughs> several hours of work just to get that, that all situated. So anyway, um, this is actually the bell. Uh, they come in all different uh, types, um, but this one is just 2 inch PVC. And this is an end cap with a um, screw lid on top. It doesn't have to be airtight. You tighten it down, hand tighten it. Um, the siphon functions just fine. Um, the air tube came loose here from the zip tie, but that's just supposed to be, that just sits right there. And um, once the water reaches that level, it's going to start flowing in here at the bottom, and it's going to create a siphon. And when that happens, it'll empty the entire bed. And the water flows continuously, so <clears throat> so the pumps never shut off, and that's part of the part of the good thing about it. You don't have to worry about timer failure or whatever. It's just um, all about the siphons. And once you get the siphons working the way they should, they just uh, they do their own thing. You don't have to worry about them. All right, so now let's put that on. I was thinking that it was going to siphon, but I guess not. It's not full yet. Um, anyway, that is pretty much it. Um, I got a couple questions also about the um, the time it takes to fill the bed and how long it takes to drain. So for each bed, it takes 10 minutes to fill and approximately 12 minutes to drain, including the um, the end where it's siphoning and sucking all that air and breaking the siphon. About 12 minutes. So. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. These beds are, I think, 286 gallons or equivalent, the volume, um, and this is 320. So those pumps seem to be doing their job pretty well. And that's it. That is Bell Siphons Explained.